Hey guys, and what is up today? Well, I haven't posted a video in a while. My phone is not with me, but I'm using a different phone. Um, and uh, I wanted to go over a couple things. So right now I'm in my sister's room. And we have these animals in three different tanks. So we went to a local creek. I believe we caught nine and brought home seven. They are crayfish. It is really sick, guys. So let me show you real quick. Um, right there is a crayfish. Really pretty. In the back over there, there's a crayfish. I don't know if you can see. Right there. And then right there again. And uh, now I'll show you the other two tanks that they're in. So let's keep moving. Um, they're not in that tank. As you guys can see, uh, too many fish. I do have them in a tank with fish, though. Um, so right here. There's one. There's two. There's two in this tank. It's a very small tank, so I don't want to overcrowd it. This is even overcrowding it. But uh, I don't have any other room. But uh, I'm definitely going to get a bigger tank as they grow. Pretty big already, but yeah, there's those two right there. Then the turtle tank, which I'm pretty sure you all could have guessed that. There's a tiger, shovel nose, red tail catfish in there. Uh, convict cichlid, and look who's coming by for the camera. We got one big old crayfish there. Come on, come on, focus. So cool. We got our Jack Dempsey there. Uh, but yeah, there's the crayfish. Um, I'm just going to go over the basic care for them of what I've learned and of what I know because I have actually kept crayfish before. I um, forgot where I kept them. I kept them from a local creek. I know that. Should be one more crayfish in here. I'll oh, try back there. Don't know if you guys can see if there's a crayfish. No crayfish. Okay. Well, we got one right there one right there oh, all three of them are right there okay makes me feel better now you can see all three of them in one shot so first that's a male right there um you can see because by his privates he's got a little a uh, couple of little i don't know his leg type things going coming in like this and then going up the females don't have that. I'll see if I can get another good shot. I'll take one of my other males out and show you guys. Here, I'm going to prop the camera up like this. And I'm going to do this real quick. Let's get him. I only have males in this tank. So even though it's a tank of two, it should probably be a female at least. But uh, I didn't catch too many females. Lighting on this tank, I really like. I uh, just had it. I had the light bulb and the light, and I really like it. Okay, right here, guys. So let's take a look. I'm going to hold his claw. I'm not hurting him. If you look right here, right there, it's got... Let's see if I can take one out. I don't want to hurt him. Okay, right there. These little legs right there pin up into there. Right. Come on, focus. Okay, you see the little legs coming up? Right here. Right here. That right there is how you know it's a male. If it does not have that, then it's a female. This guy's one claw because he was in a fight while we were bringing him home. He's the biggest also. So that kind of is weird that the biggest doesn't have a claw. Okay. Sorry, I think hopefully that lighting was cool. I don't know what you guys thought about it. That lighting was from the tank lighting. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to this tank. So, with a couple tips. So, one, don't keep small crayfish with A, cichlids, because they probably will attack them. This guy is about the size of them, maybe a little smaller, so he's a little stand backish, but he's still, like, look, he looks at him, he's like, okay, don't mess with me, don't mess with me. Look, he's like, don't mess with me. He's like, I'm in charge. Ah, uh, the crayfish, the catfish could probably eat them but i recommend quickly swimming fish or fish that can get away from them easily um and then i don't recommend smaller ones either because yet again they might get eaten but a bigger crayfish with these fish look good and then also a turtle that's with my big issue 
But apparently he's not going to eat them. They've got pinchers when they're pretty big too. So, well, of what I've heard from friends and stuff, they shouldn't get eaten. There's Jeets up there. Okay. So, now I'm going to go over feeding, and I'm going to go over that with these crayfish. Because I don't think I've fed them yet. I fed those guys earlier. Okay. So, in here, there's a couple ways of feeding. Let's start with the crayfish back there. Oh, there's a the crayfish. Okay, so, yeah. As you can see, he's got a plant in his hands. That's a treat. If there is a plant in your tank, they will be eaten. He does not like the camera. Okay. Well, we had a little bit of live plants in there from when my sister had fish in here. And uh, I guess the crayfish already devoured them. Doesn't surprise me, though. Those aquatic plants get eaten really quickly, usually. Um... I don't recommend feeding lettuce. I mean, I have. Lettuce isn't bad, but that's not my favorite food because it's not fun to watch them eat. I personally like to feed little feeder guppies, like little mosquito fish or rosy red minnows. Um, plants occasionally, like I said. Then I also, another good food to feed them is like turtle pellets, like the bigger ones. They'll eat mealworms sometimes, spiders sometimes. Um, don't feed that as the main diet. Feed either mealworms or, um, I mean, feed either, um, minnows or some sort of turtle food or fish food. I prefer turtle food. There he is, munching down right there on his little bit of green he took. So cool. Um, that's some basic care. I recommend the water pH be around 7. They're pretty, like, hardy animals, so it doesn't need to be exactly 7. I keep mine around 6 to 8, and no more, usually. I'm um, not, like, because they're pretty hardy. They're hard to kill. That's one of the reasons I like them. Um, they don't get killed very easily. Oh, really cool. They come in cool colors. Uh, these guys can range from 20 bucks, and cooler variations can be, like, 50 to 100 bucks. I got these free from a creek. Remember that? So... That means they could have diseases and they could die easily, or you can keep them a long time. It really depends. Um, so that's cool. I have a heater in this tank. This is a small heater, so it doesn't heat up too quickly. My other tank, one of the other tanks has a heater, and one of them doesn't. Uh, I do definitely recommend a filter. I have a filter in each tank. And then I've got the heater here and the uh, filter there. Filter is mandatory. Heater is just if the water is not too cold. It's a little too cold because sometimes it's too cold. Um, these guys don't really have a land area, but you can see they can climb up on the leaves and sit up there. And that's what I noticed they tend to do. They'll climb up on the leaves and do that. So you don't have to have a whole other type of a setup. Oh, that's a cool shot. Don't have to have a whole other kind of a setup for them. You straight up can just set some leaves up that they can climb out on. Because they do um, indeed like to breathe air when the water has a no air left. Which, if you have a filter, that shouldn't be a problem. As long as that filter comes out of the water. Or if you squish around the water a little bit, like swish it around like... Like that should do good. This air filter and the filter in the turtle tank does good. The 5.5 gallon is going to be a little hard. It's definitely too small. Uh, crayfish, I think, are really cool to keep, honestly. But they need lots of hiding, um, like this. Because if they don't have hiding, they will fight. That's why the other tank has so much hiding. Don't put seashells in. This is a fake seashell. It can do stuff to the water. Um, I usually like to prefer and put gravel in. But for the five and a half, I didn't have gravel, so I had some foam that was left over, and I cut it into size for the bottom of that tank, uh, which not the you know not not what you should do if you have gravel. But if you don't have gravel, that's a good change up. I know I've been pointing you guys at nothing. There's a crayfish again. Uh, sorry about the little thing in the top left. Uh, there's a crayfish, guys. Um. So they do have pinchers, and they will not let go usually when you get pinched, and it does hurt. But, you, you know, you got to work it out um, with them. Oh, another thing I feed them. On occasion, ham, salami, like deli meats sometimes they will eat. There's another one. There's the other one. Um, 
either the two smallest and the, the other ones to try and fight them and eat them. So that's why we have them in here. Otherwise, they abuse the others. So, um, that's a little bit about crayfish. Let's see, did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. Um, let's see here. What did I miss? Crayfish, crayfish. Oh, water temperature. I like to keep it around 65 to 80, the, the hottest. 80 is too hot, usually 75. But for the cichlids, I keep it 80. And they seem to be doing fine, so it's kind of test and trial. Um, not that I want to kill crayfish, but you can always go back to the creek and get new ones. This is not something. But if you're always killing them, you got to figure out what you're doing wrong so you can fix that. Because you don't want to just keep getting crayfish and then killing them. Sorry about my double chin there. But um, if you always get crayfish and you kill them, there's no point. But if you kill like a couple, you figure like, okay, what did I do wrong? Okay, you try and fix that. You fix that. Okay, they die again. You fix another problem. Oh, they live. Okay, there you go. So I wouldn't go more than four times going back to the creek to get new crayfish after they die. Otherwise, you need to go to a pet expert type guy to find out. But, um, put you guys back by there. Saw him. Saw him over there. Yeah, so, um, there's not much to be said now. Um, let's see, what else did I miss? Oh, uh, their tanks don't need to be stellarly clean like this one is. This one is really clean, but it doesn't need to be. Um, it just needs to be clean enough, if you know what I mean. That, like, because I got these guys out of muddy, gross runoff creeks. So, um, yeah. But then, then again, um, I do recommend a light, because it'll give them a cool lighting. The turtle tank doesn't really have a light, not because it's big. It doesn't have the right type of a light you'd want. I like white lights. They look really cool, but the purple light's pretty cool too, honestly. I don't know if I would do the purple light again. I prefer the white light, but the purple light does look cool. So um, if you have any questions about crayfish, or some people call them crawdads, or crawfish, or craydads, whatever you want to call them, uh... Yeah, you can call them whatever, really. They have a lot of names. Oh, and then I forgot to mention where you can catch them. So if you have a local creek by you guys, like let's per se a little creek that has run off, that has a lot of rocks, you're likely to have crayfish there. Also, you have a creek with a lot of rocks or a uh, little pond near yourself, check there. Sometimes they'll be in there. Um, really, it's trial and error. I've looked in places I've never found them, and I've looked in other places that are identical or just down the, just downstream, and there's a million of them. It's like, it all depends on the water and the environment. I do not recommend planted live plants, because if you plant live plants, they're going to be eaten. Look at this guy. He's shoving it down right now. It's almost gone. You remember when he had, like, a whole plant? Well, it's almost gone now. You can see little plant particles floating up getting washed down and stuff. See, there's a little plant particle right in the left middle area. Um, see, anything else did I miss? I want this to be like a full care guide, guys. Um, oh, okay. Rule of thumb. 10 gallon, I usually say, is good for about three or four crayfish, depending on size. Remember, they will get bitter, bigger, so you will need a different tank. But for now, this is a perfect size tank. These two are really small, both small crayfish, and I believe this is a three-gallon tank, way too small for an adult, but these guys are working with it. We are going to, I have my friend, I'm going to give him some for a 20-gallon long tank, which is the most perfect tank for them. I'm going to give him maybe two or three, um, but it's going to be fun, guys, so stay tuned for more awesome feeding and stuff. Um, let's make sure I didn't miss anything before I close out for the third time now. Um, let's see. Nope, I don't think I missed anything. I'm going to show you guys the tanks one more time. Just so you guys can see. There's Thor's tank. The fish tank. And let's just show you guys the tanks one more time. There's the tank on my dresser with that cool blue-purple light there. Let's zoom in there. You can see the filter back there. Nice hiding there. They're in the back. Up here as well. 
pretty cool looking tank. Got the turtles, got the crayfish. So I hope you like this video. Please hit that crayf the Oh my god, please hit that on. Hit the like button. Please subscribe for your full crayfish guide. And if you guys have questions, I will answer them. I will do research if I don't know the answer. But please, guys, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more crayfish videos.